I still rem I can still hear the scream that I this the scream I, I had when I uh, this how 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 I screamed. <sighs> yeah. And I knew right then that I broke my back, and my it was like my whole the rest of my life flashed before my eyes. You know there was a couple of times when you're just like, why didn't it just kill me? You know? Because it was a 24-hour uh, shift work job, and I didn't like that. Because he was so willing, he was getting more and more tired. I may be the youngest here, and they don't usually hire 16-year-olds. There's danger. When you're tired, you misjudge. But I can handle it. I'm tough. Hurry, hurry, hurry. They, they were really pushing, let's get our production quota. So I didn't like that. I dropped off my resume that day, and literally that afternoon, they called me back and said, hey, you want to start today? And I was like, sweet. So for lack of a better term, I was everybody's bitch. If somebody told me they wanted something done, there's no way I was going to say no. I wanted to impress everybody. I wanted to show them that I could do it just as well as they could. My boss calls me up and asks me to come down to work for a few hours because somebody else had canceled and I wasn't actually scheduled to work that day. You know, they seemed unsafe, but I felt like that was an inherent part of the risk of any job. I felt like the things that I did were, that were dangerous were just part of the job. And I looked down the, the laneway and I realized that I'm in a, 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 an area of high traffic, so I, um, I'm like, okay, well, I should move the forklift. I had seen so many guys do this, and apparently this is, you know, forbidden, you don't, you don't ever go near this, is putting the forklift in gear when you're not in it. I didn't see anything wrong with it, and I'd done it a few times myself. So what I do is I stand beside the forklift, and the gear shift lever is on the steering column, and I just tap the gear shift lever back into reverse. And it starts, I, I move it, I start moving backwards, and it starts moving backwards. And the only thing I didn't notice was, I, if I'd looked at the wheels, I would have seen that they were turned. At first, I ran around to the other side because I was kind of confused. I was like, okay, how do I get back in this thing when it's moving? So it started move, it starts moving backwards, and I, I panicked. I ran basically all the way around the forklift as it's moving. I'm, you know, I'm panicking. I'm, a lot of stuff's going through my head. I also didn't notice was there was a small puddle of hydraulic fluid about that big on, on the ground. I'm in the path of the forklift. I just had enough time to roll onto my back before... It was in slow motion how everything happened and literally the rest of my life kind of flashed. I was like... So I screamed out of fear, out of anxiety out of just, you know. I, I felt like just, I felt like a baby again. I was just, I was laying there, I'm crying. I'm like, I'm not gonna walk again. I'm not gonna walk again. So I'm laying there on the table and there's a whole bunch of doctors and nurses above me. Can you hear me? What, what are they going to do to me? And what have I done to myself? My dad was just strong, steady, very calm. Here was my son, so proud to be driving a forklift. Didn't occur to me to ask myself, does he know what he's doing? How fast does it move, for instance? Is he competent in using this machine? They scoot around pretty quickly. How risky is it that he wasn't indeed paralyzed, you know, from the neck down or killed? Oh, so I don't have to just worry about joyriding on Friday night. It was so preventable, it's ridiculous. I have to worry about when they go to work on Monday morning or, or after school. If they had given me the proper training. Uh, the workplace can be a really dangerous place. Make sure you know what, what kind of training you need. I want parents to know that. Know your rights, know what, what is required of you and what is required of your employer.